Time now for the Executive Edge. Uh, National Pride Month just ended, but our next guest is working towards LGBTQ equality all year long. Joining us now is Justin Nelson, who is the co-founder and the president of the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. And it's good to have you. Thanks for having me this morning. When, when, how long, when did you found this? 15 years ago this year. You've seen some unbelievable change and, and I, I guess acceptance of advertising to, to this demo, uh, businesses being started, it's mainstream now. And, and any, any Fortune 500 company that doesn't get that, I think they all get it by now because they've, they've, they've had to, basically, to exist in the, the current world. Right? Well, well, and not just because it's the right thing to do, right. but diversity also means diversifying your revenue stream, making sure that your customer and employee and supplier base mirror the one that you have or the one you want to attract. So. And the numbers are staggering uh, that, that, that I'm looking at here. Um, LGBT-owned businesses contribute approximately $1.7 to the economy. Which is great because for so long we knew what the LGBT community was in terms of a consumer spending power, about $880 billion this year, what we buy in consumer goods, but we didn't know what we actually put into the economy. So my organization uh, sanctioned a study uh, that found that we were $1.7 trillion in economic impact. And to give you an idea, uh, because I know people like to, to understand where that puts us on a chart. We'd be the 10th uh, largest economy in the world if America's 1.4 million business owners were our own country. So bigger than uh, South Korea, bigger than Canada. Uh, and I think in, in the national dialogue right now, something that's important is we're bigger than Russia. So what, in terms of how far you've come and how far you still have to go, what, what still is needed to be done right now? Are there? I mean, there's been a lot of progress. Well, absolutely. You know, uh, there's still opposition out there. Um, you know, we've done a lot of great uh, forward movement in the business world, uh, but there are still a lot of issues. There's still access to credit issues. For example, only 15 states in the District of Columbia have non-discrimination and access to credit laws on the books. So for a lot of small businesses, that's still, you know, a very uh, big issue for them. Uh, there's also non-discrimination. Believe it or not, as much progress has been made in corporate America, you can still be fired in a majority of states for being gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. So, you know, while we have made major progress, there are still some, some really challenging issues out there for LGBT well, you, people. You still hear about the religious, the hobby lobby, whatever. And, and but if you look at the way things work with, with legislation, public opinion usually dictates legislation. And legislation can still be on the books or still be pending, but it doesn't go anywhere based on public opinion when it gets to a certain point. And, and I don't know, I just think it's at that point. Well, it? look at the pendulum on marriage equality. That's what you I know, mean. Let's go back 10 years and see what it was. It's pushing 70% right. right now. So you know, it, it's a very slim minority that still doesn't believe that as red-blooded, tax-paying Americans, we should have the same rights and responsibilities as anyone else. Jester, one last question, and then we got to go. Are, are you totally nonpartisan in terms of... Uh, because the reason I asked to be a, a hardcore pro-growth business guy, um, do you have to be a Democrat? Can you can you be a, 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 a you, you know, you know what I'm Absolutely. Going with this? You yeah. know, our mission is to create opportunities where LGBT business owners can become a part of diverse supply chains, whether that's a federal government, a state or municipal right. government, or a corporation. You can't do that in a partisan battle. Uh, certainly, we do take partisan positions on particular issues, especially but when our lives issues. are at risk. So what about the fiscal issues? Well, I, I, you know, I think we have to be There's open to legislation for, that's yeah. moving the ball forward for our business owners. Right. Okay. Just, you know, this. this. Figured I'd throw it out there. Anyway, Justin, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, great to have you on. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.